Hello my beauties and welcome to another video. Today I am going to be doing another challenge for you guys and that is going to be doing my makeup backwards. Now again I am doing this in the style of Nikki Tutorials. I'm not sure if she was the first one to do this but she is the only one that I have seen. Um, I didn't purposely like look up on YouTube you know who's done this challenge but I got this inspiration from Nikki Tutorials. I will link her um, YouTube in the description so if you have not already go out um, go and check her out leave her a like and a subscribe. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have all of my products lined up right here that way I'm not fiddling trying to remember what I do to do it backwards. Anyway so, I do not have high hopes for this video. I don't, or this look, um, I don't think it's going to turn out great. Um, I just finished filming the um, I Do My Makeup in Alphabetical Order look. Um, that should be up before this video. If not, it will be up shortly after. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Sorry, I had to lay my lashes down because I couldn't really fit them in the order just whatever so normally I would be starting out with moisturizer but since that's going to be on the very last thing I'm going to start out with setting spray now this is the last step of my routine I'm going to be using the Morphe and Jeffree Star collab the Starberry um, setting spray now um, I'm sure you guys I, I talked about it in the last video this thing has a weird mister on it I don't know what's happening if you guys can see it hopefully if you See how it sprays upward instead of out? Anyway, I showed you guys in the video prior, so I'm going to go ahead and soak my face with this and blend it out because I always tap it out, um, get it evenly distributed on my face, and then I let it dry. So, God, it's like no, no matter how far I get, get it away, it's still like a continuous like straight stream into my face. I'm going to go ahead and tap it out, make sure I get it all around my face in an even coat. I don't really normally stripe it, I'm not going to do that. Um, so now that that's someone just snapchatted me, who was it? You guys like my phone case I made? I made this by myself. My pop socket was red. I've got to go in and redo it. Um, I do make epoxy tumblers on the side. Um, if you guys would like more information on that and would like to order something from me, I do have an Etsy store and I do have an Instagram dedicated to my store. It is called BH Designs. If you guys would like to order something, let me know. I will post it in the description box below. I've had coffee, so I'm like ah, so hyper. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Next, we are going in with lipstick. And I am using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick in the Cola Heathen. That's not going to focus why. I don't know why I'm shoving that in your face. I'm sorry. Where did I? There it is. I'm going to go ahead and put her on. Now, I don't use a liner. I don't use a gloss. I just use straight liquid lips. So that is on. My eyes are burning for some reason. Oh my god, why I think I got some of my setting spray in my eyes. Oh god, it burns. Woo! Alrighty. So now I am going to go in with setting powder because that is my next step. I'm going to just put powder all over my face because that's what I normally do. I'm using my Watermelon Burst powder. This is a pressed powder, so I feel like I have to really dip into it and really get into it to get some stuff. I'm just going to spread that all around like I normally would. Now this is supposed to have shimmer particles in it. 
Um, I haven't really noticed any kind of shimmer particles. I put it on my lips as well. Because normally I don't have lipstick on before I do powder. Alrighty, so this is what we're working with so far. Not much to look at, just some red lips and some pale skin. So, setting powder is done. Now I'm going to move on to bronze, no, highlighter. Highlighter is my next step. So, um, right now, I'm in the market for a new highlighter because my Stila just is not performing the way that I want it to, and I'm trying to get another one. So, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I'm going to go in to, not that shade, this shade right here. And I'm going to highlight with it. Hey, Lisey. What are you doing, baby? My doggo come to say hi. Highlight the brow bone. Cannot forget her. Alright, so that is highlighter done. And she is glowy and pretty. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is bronzer. That is my next step. I'm going to go in with my bronzing brush. Um, like I did in the video. I don't want to go in with this brush actually. I'm going to go in with this one. I'm going to go in with this brush right here. So in the last video which was the alphabetical order challenge um, I went in really really heavy handed with my bronzer in hopes that it would peek through my foundation unfortunately it did not but just to give it a fair fighting chance again I'm going to go really heavy handed with it in hopes that it will show through my foundation so I'm going to go in really heavy with it this time again I'm going to say this time I'm going to go in really heavy handed with it again and see if she will peek through my foundation. If you guys have not noticed, I have gotten a lot more confident in filming. I have gotten a lot more comfortable with filming and sitting here and talking to you guys. And I'm coming out of my shell a little bit more. There's not really much to me. You give me horses, supernatural, and makeup, and I will be a happy girl. There's not much to me as far as anything else. So I went really heavy handed on my bronzer as you can tell in hopes again that it will show up through my foundation. And I'm using the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. It's the bronzer that I know and love and I will use until I find a no one that I like the best. So. Now it is time for foundation. I'm using my L'Oreal Pro Glow, and she is a very high, high coverage um, foundation. If you watched my last video, you, well, if you go and watch it, I mean, you're going to, no, well, with this video, you're not going to be able to see it because I'm not doing my liner first, but in the last video, <laughs> my foundation and my concealer covered up my liner, and my liner, I use black liner. So my concealer and my foundation covered up my liner. So it looks like this is going to cover up my concealer, not my concealer, um, my highlighter, and it's also going to cover up my bronzer again. And like I said in the last video or the last challenge, I'm not going to try to do anything differently. Um, I'm like, I'm working. Screw it. I put foundation on my lips. So, <laughs> we're just going to mess up our lipstick now. So yeah, this is a very, very high coverage foundation. So if you are in the market for a full coverage foundation and you have not tried this, try it. It is so full coverage. It cover, covers up all the imperfections on my face that I want to hide. Luckily, my skin is kind of well behaved. 
Sometimes she's not, but sometimes she is. So I'm going to go ahead and buff in my foundation. Um, I'm not going to try and avoid areas. I'm just going to do my foundation like I normally would, like everything else. Um, so yeah, it's going to ruin my lipstick and ruin my contour and ruin my highlight, but we're sticking to the challenge. Alrighty. So, that is done. The only thing this has ruined, well, it's ruined basically everything I've already done. Um, it ruined my lips, ruined my contour, and my or my bronzer, and my highlight, which this, this foundation is highlighty enough itself. I mean, look at that. You guys see that? It's like highlighty. <laughs> Maybe it's my highlighter pick. Maybe my highlighter was strong enough that it peeked through. I don't know. So... Now, we are going to be moving on to concealer. I'm using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Medium 20. And I'm going to contour the places I normally would, which is under both my eyes, on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. I'm going to blend that out with my little sponge. Now I'm not going to be able to set any of this down because I'm not going to, I've already done powder. We've already done powder so I'm not going to be able to set any of this. So I am just going to be one dewy bitch today. Tonight, it's like 11 o'clock. I'm going to be one dewy bitch tonight. Alright. So concealer is done. Here's what we are working with again. Not too horrible. I feel like I'm baby faced. But, oh well. So next I'm going to go in with mascara. Because I do my mascara after I do my liner and shadow and everything like that. So I'm going in with my L'Oreal... Paris Voluminous Original Mascara in Black. Um, I tried the Ardell Wispies. Um, uh, I'm about to set foundation. I tried the Ardell Wispies mascara in the last video, and let me tell you what that mascara did not perform at all. I am like a lot of people out there, and um, mascara doesn't really matter to me. Um, I don't have to get like the best mascara well I'm not gonna say the best because they've all worked for me um but a lot of people swear by like the very very high dollar brand um mascaras and I'm like dude it's mascara as long as it makes my lashes black and it kind of lifts them a little bit I don't really care um so yeah but the Arno Wispies they the mascara with that it looked like shit. Looked like total, total shit. Um, I did not do a product review on it, um, because I'm not gonna do, like, the only time I'm really gonna do a product review if it's something that completely, you know, that I'm extremely excited about or something like that, so. Not gonna do a product review on that, especially now that I know it doesn't work. And it done absolutely nothing for my, like, nothing nothing and the wand was all jacked up on it I don't I don't know maybe I got a bad one I don't know but it looked like crap I'm gonna go ahead and put that up I don't need it anymore so now we are moving on to normally I would do lashes I mean, yeah lashes I'm gonna move on to lashes so, I'm going to be using my Kiss Magnetic Lashes, and this is in the style Lure by Kiss. I really like them. They are more of, they're more on the natural side. They don't, they're not really fluffy. They're not really, you know, curled. I mean, they're just like a natural lash, kind of like to add dimension to your lashes, I guess. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my liner on for my lashes.
Now I'm only going to do one or two coats of this um, because I'm just going to wipe this off and take it off as soon as I'm done with it um, because like I said it's late and I've already filmed a video tonight. I don't have to film anymore tonight so I'm doing this and then going to bed. So I'm not really, if they don't really stay on that well, I'm not too mad about it. That is a really thick line. <laughs> that is a really, really thick line. Actually, I'm only going to do one coat. They'll still stick with one coat. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop it well. I'm going to let it dry first. If you don't let it dry, you're going to mess up your lashes, B. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop these puppies on. Now, I had to trim these down quite a bit. Um, when I got them, they were really long. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that kiss lashes were made for giants and people with giant eyes because their lashes are so, so long. And I agree, these lashes were very long when I first got them. Um, I had to trim them down quite a bit so that they would fit my eyes correctly. Alright, so I'm not going to be able to put any mascara on these to blend them into my eyes because we have already done mascara which these don't really need a lot of mascara they have mascara on them already because I've used them several times before oh no you need to go that way my eyes are really watering tonight y'all alright so there is lashes done like I said these don't look all that wonderful I don't wear them a lot I've got to get me some better lashes um, I'm thinking about getting some Ardell Wispy lashes because I've heard a lot of good things about those and um, so I'm gonna probably going to get some Ardell Wispy lashes or uh, any other kind of lash I don't know um, I've got to get in the habit of getting glue on lashes because those look I feel like those look a lot better than the magnetic ones. Um, the only reason I bought the magnetic ones is so that I could start playing with lashes and stuff like that. So I'm not really um, too, too happy with these, but they work for the challenge, I guess. So now I'm going to move on to liner. I'm going to go back in with my Kiss Magnetic. There was a hair. Because I shed like a Shetland Sheepdog. So I'm going to go back in with my liner because even if I'm not wearing lashes, I will use this liner because it's it's a, a liner. It's a liquid liner. It just has the little magnetic particles in it. As long as I don't get nothing magnetic close to my eye, I'm fine. So this is going to be really hard because these lashes are blocking my view. I can't see. There we go. So I have already done my liner for my top line because this is a liner and also like the, the glue that holds um, the magnetic lashes on. So I'm not going to put liner on top of these. I don't want to mess them up. Because I do wear them on occasion. I'm doing very, very toned down wings. Those are not sisters, not twins, not cousins, not in the same bloodline even. Um, this one's a lot more stick-like. This one's a lot more wing-like. I'm sorry. Oh well. So, after liner, we are going to move on to the tight liner. I always do my tight liner first, and then I will go in and do my upper liner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see if my eyes will water again. Probably so. Ow. Stab myself in the eye. Ow. I do that more than I probably should, actually. I stab myself in the eye quite a lot. I'm surprised I'm not blind yet. Probably the reason my eyes are going a lot bad, or a lot worse than they normally do. Okay, my eyes watering. Ha! Ah. And yeah, my nose is running. What is going on? What is happening? 
I'm looking at my monitor like, what is happening? Okay. So that is my liner done. Now it's time for some eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with my Soft Glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to do something small, quick, and easy. Um, I'm not looking to go extravagant on this shadow. So I'm going to go in with a little fluffy brush. And I'm going to pop a dark color on my crease. My eyes are watering something fierce, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm going to prop. I'm going to have to cover all this up when I put my primer on, so I'm not worried about doing anything crazy with it. I mean, I'm still going to blend it like I'm supposed to, but still, I can't see. My eyes are watering so, so bad. Now again, when Nikki done this, she was like doing her lid first, then doing her crease, then doing her brow bone. I mean, she went heavy. She went ham with the challenges, and I love that about her. She done the challenges like she was supposed to. Me, I just don't have that much charisma to do that, so I'm not <laughs> doing that whatsoever. Um, I'm going to, no, I do one eye first. I should have started with this eye. Crap, because I always do this eye first. I should have done this eye first. Oh well, it is what it is. Which sometimes I do my um, eyes together. Sometimes I won't necessarily do one eye first. I will do them together. Um, like I will put down a color on both eyes and then I will go in and put another color and then my next color until it's all done. All, all finished. Alright, so there is the crease and the brow bone done. It doesn't look 100% pretty. I know I'm fixing to cover it up, so I'm not too, too worried about it. But I am sticking to the challenge like I'm supposed to. So I'm going to go in with a shimmer shade. My favorite shimmer shade from this palette. I'm going to pack it on my lid. It's going to get all in my lashes. Yay! You guys hate well, you guys probably don't hate because you probably don't do this. But do you guys ever hate, like, when you go to touch up your eyeshadow and you get eyeshadow all in your lashes? It sucks so bad. And that's exactly what is happening right now. And it's covering up my liner. At least it's hiding my lash band really well. It's not as pigmented. What the crap happened? There we go. There's the shine. I love this color. This is the color bronze. Bronzer or bronze? It's the color bronze from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. So that is all I'm going to be doing for the eyes. I'm not worried about blending it out because it's fixing to get covered up anyway. Because now I have to go in with my eyeshadow primer, which is my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and put that away, and I'm going to go in with my concealer. Ah! Here's what it looks like before I cover it up, if anyone wants to really see it. Um, so I'm going to cover her up with a few dabs of <laughs> concealer. Oh, I just got it on my lashes. No. Ah. Oh, that sucks. So, I'm totally going to have to wash my beauty blender after this because I'm going to get crap all over it. No, it was so pretty. Well, it was halfway pretty. I didn't do a really good job on it, but oh well. God. This sucks. But I'm sticking to it. Oh, it's on my lashes. No. I got concealer all over my lashes. I'm going to have to go and clean them. Or just buy a new set because those were going to wear out anyway. I'm probably just going to do that. So, here is them covered up with my eyeshadow primer. <laughs> 
So primer is done. Now I'm going to move on to brows. And I'm using my Billion Dollar Brows brow pencil in the, it doesn't have a color, so I can't tell you the color. So I'm just going to fill in my brows. Thankfully, my brows will not get covered up with foundation like they did in the last video. So, I'm just going to fill them in. Kindly feather the front of them a little bit. Like I said in the first video that I filmed, um, I'm supposed to actually be at work tonight, but with all this COVID mess going on, I could not go because I have an ear infection. And when I get ear infections, I run a fever. And it's not a very high fever, but I run a fever and I feel like crap. But um, my policy at work is that we have to be fever free for, oh my god, I've done horrible on those. It looks terrible. Um, we have to be fever free for um, 72 hours before we can go back to work. So, I'm not at work tonight. I wish I was, but I'm not. So, the next step is primer. And I'm going to be priming with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And this is the color Universal Sh Uni Universal 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 Sheer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit on my fingers, and I'm just going to prime. I'm going to use my monitor for a second since I'm using both my hands. Um, I only prime my T-zone with this. I cannot find my hydrofluoronic acid to save my life to prime the rest of my face, but this is what we're working with. Alright, so there is the prime done. And by my, my very last step is to moisturize. I'm using my Pure Cosmetics Soak It Up Intense Hydrating Moisturizer. I'm going to use it. I'm going to get it on both my fingers. Every time I dip into this freaking moisturizer, I feel like I'm dipping my fingers into pudding. Pudding! Again, if you are a Supernatural fan, you will know what I mean when I say that. Inside joke! Put it on there. Oh, I got a lot on my forehead. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that. I tap it on my f lids. I tap it in. Ooh, I got so much on my forehead, I feel like I'm never going to be able to get this rubbed in. I've got a freaking exfoliate my face and everything tonight anyway so I'm not too too worried about it where did my wife go where did you go where did you there you are so you guys that is all um that is all the steps i do um completely in reverse i did everything backwards so here is the finished look that i got it's not horrible I, no it's horrible it's i would not not recommend doing this unless you want a challenge totally not wearable I would not walk out of my house looking like this but it is what it is so here again is the finished look you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and again do not forget to hit the subscribe button hit that like button give this video two thumbs up do not forget to check out my Instagram Twitter and snapchat and no Instagram Twitter snapchat TikTok. TikTok was the one I'm more, uh, I was forgetting. So, anyway, you guys, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I will see you guys later. Bye.